Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a pretty major Target haul, which was kind of unexpected. It's actually a Target a few days this past week, uh, mainly for Target Circle Week. So by the time this video comes up, Target Circle Week, it's going to be over. I was really there to look at more home items and like more home essentials and things like that. But of course I had to peruse on over to the women's section. And to my surprise, I found so many items that are just catered to my aesthetic, which is more of a neutral style, but with more like clean lines. Like I'm not into the frilly, frou-frou, tiered type of dresses or anything like that. I mean, I was, but I feel like they're very dated at this point. So whenever I find items that can easily be mistaken for things that you find at other more high-end retailers, I jump at the chance to grab those for my personal wardrobe. So if you wanna see what I got, then just keep on watching. So in this video, I actually have some clothing items. I have some accessories, mainly handbags and a few uh, footwear items or sandals. As I had mentioned, a lot of the times, if I find something that I feel like I can find a double, triple, quadruple the price at other retailers, but I find them at Target, I jump at the chance. Like for one, this dress that I'm actually wearing, I purchased last spring and I absolutely love it. Let's see if I can show you. It's an A-line dress, <laughs> but what I love about it is like, this is definitely something that you would not expect from Target, um, just like the piping on the bustier, like it just kind of, to me, it looks like something that you could maybe get at Madewell. And so definitely this is one of the dresses that I wear on repeat, especially in the warmer months. Another item that I found that kind of like reminded me of something that you would get at Madewell is this knit tank. So this actually comes in the black and the white. It was more like a, like a ivory actually. It's more like an off white and the black. And then there's also one that is a solid black, but I thought the stripes would fit perfectly into my capsule wardrobe. So I jumped at the chance at getting this. I actually sized up to a size large. For some reason with knit tops like this, especially with my <laughs> artificial chest that I have, which is a little bit bigger, uh, sometimes the way that it falls, I don't like. It feels like there's like it's too bulky up here. So I sized up to give it a little bit more room. And what I was thinking of doing is trying to find somebody who can actually alter it to bring in the sides. So I actually got a size medium. So I just need to find somebody who can alter the size to bring it in a little bit. I like the fact that it gives you a little bit more um, fabric to work with here in the front, but I love the high neckline. And again, because of the knitted fabric, it just looks a little bit more luxe than what you would typically find at Target. So uh, this is such a great find. My next item I was actually wearing earlier, so it's probably wrinkled, uh, cause I actually went to go have lunch with my mama and I actually wore these pants. So <laughs> they are these right here. So this is kind of like a split personality jean, but I actually really love it and it kind of works. So this is more of like an airy jean. At least that's what Madewell is calling it. They're, they're calling it the airy denim trend, which is basically like a jean, but a lighter material so it's kind of like a cross between trousers and jeans and I am actually digging the trend so this one has some pleating here in the front it also has cargo pockets on the side and it is wide leg and then obviously in the back it also kind of has those trouser pockets in the back but I just really like this it's a little bit more on the oversized fit usually I'm a size six I actually got these in the size eight so that it would be a little bit more loose on the bottom but I just absolutely love this pair of jeans I paired it with a black tank and some slides and they were just like such a cool like casual outfit definitely see myself wearing this a lot this spring and summer another pair of denim that I grabbed because I'm still on the hunt for a baggier pair of jeans but again like I'm having such issues because I have wider hips and although I love the wide leg pant trend and the wide leg jean trend I just have not found something that looks good for my wider hips. So this one is from Universal Threads. This is the 90s baggy jeans. And this is more obviously a more casual wide leg jean. It has like these big distressing here in the knees. But what I really love is the wash of these. This is more of a like toned down type of medium denim, which I really like. So again, just for a casual weekend wear, I think that these jeans are perfect. And again, I really love the way that they fell. And it's so funny because I have gone to Madewell and Nordstrom and tried on like these more expensive jeans, thinking that maybe if I pay more, they'll fit a little bit better, but that's just not the case. So I go to Target and I have these jeans that just fit so well and I absolutely love them. And so that just kind of goes to show you that sometimes paying more expensive is not always 
going to be the better deal. But I have had such luck at Target lately, especially in the bottoms department, which that one is a little bit harder for me to find. But these jeans, absolutely love them. So good. So I actually got this one in a size six regular, and I love the fact that they're not like dragging on the floor, but they're also not too short. But I just really liked these jeans. These are definitely keepers. Another item that I found was this white dress. This is kind of like a cotton linen-y type of feel. And what I love about it, remember I talked to you all about I don't like the tiered dresses. I feel like the tiered dresses have been overdone. They're just so dated um, and they just like look cheap to me. So whenever I see dresses like this one or the one that I found here, which is a little bit more streamlined. And again, like when I saw this dress, I instantly thought Carol Bissett Kennedy, uh, just like sophisticated, long lines, you know, just like understated, but still makes a statement. That's how I feel about this dress. Such a good find. And I love the fact that it is also lined. So I actually got this one in the size medium and it fits perfect. There is a little bit of smocking here in the back for more comfort. And there are two straps. This one you put around your neck, but I just thought that this dress was just so beautiful. And like, again, you can dress it up, dress it down, pair it with nude heels. I think it's perfection. Okay, I also grabbed two skirts. These are from Wild Fable, which is more like in the teen section, but they have some really cute stuff over there as well. So I got this longer skirt. I actually got in a large and I would not recommend sizing up. I felt like if I sized up, it would be a little bit more baggier, but it was just too much material. I feel like if you get your true size, you're good. But I like the little gathering right here. It's very adjustable. I mean, you can adjust here at the waistband as well. And I felt like this is such a like cool, casual type of skirt that you can wear with Adidas Sambas. So I got the mini skirt in a large as well. It was still a little bit oversized, but because it is a little bit shorter, I, I feel like it kind of can work. So I might just go ahead and keep this large size because again, it was super comfortable, not restricting at all. Of course, it does have the adjustable waistband as well. So you can definitely adjust it to your sizing. But I did notice I had all of this string just hanging there whenever I adjusted it to my size. But again, I feel like maybe the mini skirt I'm gonna go ahead and keep in the large I'm probably gonna go ahead and exchange the longer skirt or I'm actually thinking of just returning it just because I feel like how many you know of these type of skirts do you really need honestly I liked the mini skirt a lot better than I did the longer one okay let's go ahead and move on to footwear I have a few items here I really hope they're not sold out I know a lot of the times with shoes like if they're popular, they're gonna be like gone in a second. The good thing is that sometimes these shoes like will come back. So for instance, the Joni sandals, I actually purchased these last year and they actually brought them back this year. So they have it in the white, they have a black, they have a tan raffia color and then they have one other color which I cannot remember but I actually purchased these last year and I feel like they were just so so popular that they brought them back this is a great dupe for Steve Madden sandals the hardware it looks very luxe it's just like a nice pair of sandals so again if you find that any of these items are sold out I feel like if you just wait um, chances are Target might bring them back another style trend that is really in right now is raffia so I bought these as well I thought that these were just such a neutral pair of shoe I love this like oversized buckle again very understated the block heel is not obnoxious like some of these block heels have been lately I just feel like they're just a little bit too bulky like they took the block heel way to the left so these are super cute they also are available in black but i felt like this nude style just really really worked and again for spring and summer when you want to wear your whites i feel like a nude shoe is like your safe option so i thought that these were super super cute another pair that i feel that they might bring back because at last check i think these were sold out is this pair so i actually still have the tag on it but this is definitely a pair that i am going to keep especially because i absolutely love this gold hardware hardware on accessories is going to be huge this season i love the fact that they're not like a stark white they're a little bit more creamy so it's a little bit more on the warmer tones will pair with a lot of my like neutral wardrobe so great great pair definitely one of my favorite finds speaking of stark white i did actually buy <laughs> stark white sandals i got these floral ones because i just think they're so cute i love the fact that floral appliques are back i had a pair of sandals that i bought at dsw probably about 15 years ago and they had like these 
floral appliques and I love them. And a few years back, I was like, I don't care if they're not in style. Like they were so comfortable and so cute. And I also just love that there was this big adornment here. And so whenever I saw these, I jumped at the chance and grabbed them as well. It also comes in black and there is a pink as well. But I thought that these were just adorable. Okay, and then finally, I have a few accessories. Well, they're just really handbags and totes actually. But the one thing that I do love about Target is that if you find a tote or handbag, that you really, really like. I feel like it is a must grab. One of the totes that I got last year was this one right here. And I get so many compliments on it. And again, it was a Target find. And I love it because I get so much use out of it. There's just something about paying an affordable price for something that you use over and over again. It's like you won the lottery. And so this is definitely one of my best Target finds from last year. So whenever I saw a few of these totes, I just like instantly fell in love. Another trend that we're gonna be seeing this season is definitely denim. And so I saw a lot of purses and totes that kind of played on the same type of like crisscross dark, like indigo denim like this one. So this is actually the bigger tote. There was like a smaller handbag as well. This is such a great size. It has like the pocket here on the side. On the inside, there is a little clasp so you can make sure that all your goodies don't just fall out or they're just not overly exposed. I will say I am gonna be returning this one just because I feel like although it's denim and denim usually just goes with anything, I'm having a hard time picturing a bunch of outfits that I can pair with this type of like denim hue. But I will say, I love the fact that it is structured. There is a flat bottom. So it's just like a great work bag as well. But I definitely wanted to highlight it because I thought it was such a great find. Another tote that I absolutely loved was this one right here. So this one is actually like a jacquard type of tote. I love like the detail of it. I love the colors. Just like the denim tote, it does have that flat bottom and the pocket here on the side. I think this will be a great laptop tote because I actually only have a laptop backpack and it's pink. <laughs> so I think this one would look great because it is neutral and I just really loved it. I love the little leopard here. This would also make such a great beach bag or if you go on vacation, it's like a little bit elevated and it obviously like it does not look like something that you would get at Target but it's such a cute tote. So this is definitely one that is staying with me. Another Target find was this purse right here. So we've seen this style everywhere. Everybody's replicated the Bottega bag and I found them at different retailers, but they're not as big as this one. So usually they're a little bit smaller. This one's a little bit more on the medium side. It's not super large, but it's still large enough that you can put it over your shoulder. I love the nude color. I just felt like this was such a great bag. At last check, I could not find it on the Target website, but again, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because you know, as soon as I get that alert that this is back in stock, I'm gonna go ahead and notify you. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, I'm gonna leave my handle down below so you can follow me there. But again, I thought that this was such a cute bag and it's something that you can kind of dress up a little bit. I'm gonna also link a few similar options down below if you want to check those out as well. Next, I have another tote. So this one I absolutely love because of the stripes. This is definitely something that I felt like this is like a vacation bag. Like, this is definitely something that I would take. Like if I ever went to Italy, I just think that it would just look so stinking cute. It has a woven detail and the straps are a little bit more canvas. So it's very comfortable. They do have wider straps. So it's a comfortable fit. There are other variations of this bag. And another thing I love is that they all come with a detachable little pouch. Like this one says Bon Voyage. They all have different sayings and they're all different colors. So this is a cute little pouch that you can put either like some of your belongings um, and you can leave it here for easy access or you can detach it or you can even detach it and just wear this on its own. So, but really, really cute. It is hollow on the inside, but of course you have some of the compartments on the sides. What I have found is there are inserts and I actually have one from Amazon that you can just insert it and it has a bunch of different compartments. So that way you can kind of organize your totes. I know it could be hard not to just throw a bunch of stuff on your toe and then have such a hard time trying to find it. Um, so there are inserts that you can put in these totes and I will link that in the bottom for you as well. Okay, and then finally is this tote. This is another one that I actually just got yesterday, so obviously the tag is still on it. This is one that I'm definitely keeping. So they have this color and they also have it 
in the black. So this one says Saint Tropez. I want to say that the black one says Capri, and it's more of a canvas tote. There is a closure here on the inside. So again, you can keep your stuff nice and safe and closed. I have not even taken this thing off. But what really caught my eye is just kind of like this print, like this style. I know Dior has sandals that have like this type of color scheme or like the design. So I just absolutely love the simplicity of it. It's a little understated, but it's like a great little tote. It's not a super large tote, but I think this is like a great addition like for a vacation wear. So if you're going on vacation and sometimes when you're on vacation, you tend to carry a little bit more than you would if you're just going out in your town or in your city, um, but it's not super, super large where it looks like a beach bag. <laughs> So I feel like you can still kind of address this one up. There you have it. That is my latest Target haul for spring and summer. I'd love to know your thoughts on the items that I shared with you today. Let me know which ones are your favorites down in the comments. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you did and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this haul. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll chat soon. Bye.